Hello Northwest, this is your proud principal, Mr. Holdeman, with our third and final video. The core values at Northwest High School are pride, respect, and excellence, and they've been around since 1978. The focus of this video is excellence. The excellence that we expect of our students and staff here at Northwest, and the excellence that we expect of ourselves. Excellence can mean many things to many people. In just a bit, you're gonna hear from both staff and students about what excellence means to them and where they've seen excellence here at Northwest High School. For me, excellence is certainly about success, about the end results. Things like getting an A on a paper you wrote for your history class, winning a game or a match on the playing field, putting on an amazing concert, or displaying a piece of art you created are all examples of excellence. But for me, excellence is much more than just the end result. It's also about the process. Excellence is putting your best foot forward. It's about getting a B on a math test that you studied hard for. It's about getting cut from a team one year and working hard during the summer and making the JV team the next year. It's about working hard at Northwest, earning all of your credits, and graduating to go on to bigger and better things. Enjoy this third and final video. To me, and I'm sure a lot of people at Northwest as well, I show excellence through extracurriculars and just other activities. I know for me, like band and drama, I try my best and everybody else there also tries their best, but like a lot of different activities that happen as well. So many more people going to state and just things like that, yeah. I'm always showing positivity. You see me in the hallway, you gotta dab me up. You see me like this. Every time, just show positivity in the hallway. Say what up to the homies. Personally, my two favorite things that I've discovered in the past years are managing events and teaching. Teaching is one of my biggest passions, and so when I'm able to help someone learn something that I've just learned, or when I'm able to teach a class at my place of work, I, I really enjoy showing that excellence that I work so hard towards to um, teaching others and seeing that same passion that I see in myself thrive and burn bright in them. I appreciate and I love the staff a lot because there have been several incidents of my retainer ending up in the trash can. The third time I lost my retainer, one of them actually took their time to actually go help me. It actually took 30 minutes. She helped me redig through the trash cans a lot of times. And then she found my retainer. It would, if it wasn't for her, I would not have my bottom retainer and my teeth would be crooked again. So I just, I really appreciate how they chose to help me find something that I should have taken care of. And I just really appreciate the staff. The staff is amazing and I love it. And they're just very kind to me and other students. This student has shown her grisly excellence by starting a community fridge here at Northwest High School. The community fridge project aims to provide free access to nutritious food in Northwest High School and beyond. I really want to support the student body and help our community to feed them and not have things that they have to search for outside that they're not able to obtain. The community fridge is really there to provide the necessary hygiene and food that students don't have at home. And just seeing by how our food shortages are at school, I decided to provide for it in my own way by contacting sponsorships from ICT Community Fridge and bringing a fridge here at my school. Coming up, we spoke with some faculty about moments of grisly excellence that they've seen in their time here at our school. Our staff is so proud to have such an outstanding student body, and we wanted to remind you all of the excellence you show on a day-to-day -day basis. I had a great experience um, witnessing excellence at Northwest this year with the Scholars Bowl team. I watched these kids practice for months and just being curious about learning new things and getting better and wanting to compete with academic questions. But what was the neatest thing for me to see was how no one person can know it all. Uh, everybody had their own strengths and the team worked together to play off of each other's strengths. And for me, that's one meaning of excellence. It's using your own strengths for the benefit of the group and to be excellent together. 
Yeah, honestly, for me, it goes back to my first year here when our boys soccer team won state. I remember the day before we were supposed to leave, the weather was terrible and Coach B asked the boys if they wanted to practice inside because it was cold, it was rainy, and Coach B was like, you know, if you want, we can go inside, we can practice in the gym, and the boys were like, no, Coach, like, we don't know what the weather's gonna be like over the next couple days and we need to get out there and we need to practice. And so, you know, we go on and we win state and we end up undefeated for the season and I thought that was a really great example of just settling for nothing less than the best and just rolling with the punches and doing it. One of the times that I've seen excellence, so we had a student here several years ago. I've been here for a while. I've been here since 1998. One of the students that we had years ago, one thing that she did that was just above and beyond, first of all, she took care of her grades in the classroom, did all that, took care of that, but then organized a huge fundraiser for the school and ended up raising a lot of money for United Way. So not only was she taking care of business in the classroom, but then she was taking care of other people's needs by helping raise money for United Way. And so that would be one example. There's probably several examples over the years, but that would be one example of a student just rising to excellence at Northwest High. I was uh, substituting doing uh, special ed math one day, and we were doing circles, areas, circumferences, diameters, formulas. One girl in particular was struggling with area of a circle, and I sat down next to her and went through a problem on her sheet with her. She then did one herself with my help and she was doing everything she could to get the right answer. And then all of a sudden, something in here popped and boom, she figured it out and she had the rest of the page done in 20 minutes. It was amazing. That is excellence and it's excellence in effort on her part. One activity that I can think of that really displayed Grizzly excellence was a time when the National Honor Society students adopted Northwest families for the holidays. And we had a student whose parent just couldn't afford to buy nicer things for him to wear to school on a regular basis. So one particular student in the National Honor Society wanted to buy some things specifically for the student who attended here and his siblings so that they felt like they were like the other students. This young man was so proud of the gifts that he had received from our National Honor Society group that he proudly wore the things that he was given over the holidays. And, and for me, Grizzly Excellence is taking the time out to make a difference for somebody who is not able to always do those things for themselves and the willingness to want to help other people. This concludes our video series on our Northwest core values of pride, respect, and excellence. I want to tell you, Northwest staff and students, how proud I am of the steps we have all taken in recent weeks toward improving our culture and climate here at Northwest High School. I have witnessed firsthand the increased pride that you take in what you do. I have seen the respect for each other grow in your actions, both in the classrooms and around the building. And I have observed the continued tradition in our Northwest pursuit of excellence. Thank you, Northwest family, for the role you play in continuing our core values of pride, respect, and excellence.